What's up, guys? I hope you're having a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever you're doing out there. I hope you're doing it good. So this is the Teal One, and it's finally here. So for those that don't remember, about two years ago, a guy named George, who is the CEO at a company called Teal Drones, invited me out to Utah to check out a prototype of their first drone. And if you haven't looked at it, and it's pretty cool because... Um, he's, he was younger, I believe he's 18. It's really impressive, so definitely check out that video. And here we are, like two years or so later, and this is like the delivery stage. This is what it is. And he did send me this drone for free, uh, which I really appreciate, and it's, it's totally awesome. So in the box you have the teal one itself a quick start guide a battery a battery charger a 16 gigabyte SD card with an adapter you get six props uh, and when you look at the props you'll see the hardware is both silver or black and the black props go on the black pin motors and the silver ones go on the silver pin motors and they just snap on but when you snap them on you got to push down the pin on the motor and then push down the prop and twist the motor and you'll want it to pop into place and make sure that button pops up all the way now you can use the box that the teal one comes in as a carrying case which i've been doing but do check these buttons every single time to make sure they're popped all the way up because if if they're pushed down your prop will fly off so just make sure they're they're pushed all the way up the included battery is 2750 milliamp hours, 14.8 volts. Uh, it charges off of the included wall adapter. Uh, the button on the battery allows you to check the battery life as well as to power the drone itself. Teal One is not your standard drone by any means. It has a custom NVIDIA TX1 along with a Amberella camera processor. Now, if you're like me, a lot of these terms are not gonna be familiar and I didn't know exactly what a NVIDIA TX1 or Amberella camera processors were, so I had to look them up. Uh, and to put them, I guess, in my own words, the NVIDIA TX1 is basically like a supercomputer that has AI, artificial intelligence capabilities where developers can program and teach the Teal One to do just about anything. So as for the Amberella camera processor, it's the same type of processor that they use in self-driving cars. So there's a lot of um, I guess learning that goes into that and how you know self-driving cars will detect everything all objects all people all everything so there's that processor in there as well but as for the actual camera it shoots 4k but only in portrait mode in landscape mode you can shoot 2.7k and 1080p but as for 4k it's only available in portrait mode and the camera is fixed, so there's no gimbal. The only stabilization that there is, is gonna be that electronic stabilization. So this isn't going to be the best choice for doing aerial videography. The Teal One is controlled by your phone via the Teal Flight app. Now the Teal Flight app is available for both Android and Apple. 
Uh, you can fly the teal a few different ways. You can do the one hand flight, standard flight, where you hold your phone in landscape mode. Uh, you can do multi touch, voice control, and they also have an option to buy a physical controller. Now you have some basic options in the app like setting a safe flight bubble. Uh, they have flight tuning. You can tune this thing way down for beginners. You can turn it up way up and it will go like 60 miles per hour. Um, and then you also have some camera options where you can set the uh, you know the frame rate uh, and the quality of the, of the footage, I mean. So I've never been a big fan of flying drones with a touchscreen phone. Um, there's a few different issues. My first issue is you can never really tell how much throttle or direction you're giving the drone, especially if you're keeping an eye on your drone and this drone's cruising along, it can get tricky. Now I'm sure the more you practice, the easier it will, it will get. But at the same time, when you are flying that fast, you definitely want controls and a response time uh, that you can manage. Now, my other issue with using the phone as the controller for the drone is the 5.8 gigahertz signal. Uh, compared to the 2.4 gigahertz, it's not even close. Like, they're just two different categories to where 5.8 gigahertz, you can experience anything from lag on your live stream uh, or even lose control of the drone or the signal could drop. And this has been my experience with every phone controlled drone that I've ever flown. Now luckily, the TL1 has GPS built in, it has the return home, so if any of this does happen, you know, it will click into that mode and return back home. And that has happened, and return home does work. Something that's neat about the Teal One is that the arms are easy to swap out. So if you are out flying and you do happen to break an arm, you can remove two screws, remove the arm, and put a new arm in and be ready to go within seconds. So there you go, the Teal One, a drone with a supercomputer and a camera processor, which is the same kind that are used in self-driving cars. What will they think of next? Let me know what you think about the TL1 in the description, and if you want to learn more about the TL1, I'll put a link in the description. You can go and check out more specs and capabilities. Uh, I wanted to thank TL Drones for sending this one out to me again and just having me be a part of uh, the prototype all the way up here till the delivery phase. It was, uh, it was really awesome. So that's that, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. See you next time.